My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden's <coughs> dog <lord. coughs> And all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think his sword would end the shame of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont-Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to who? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I'm a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition. The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I'm sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that.
It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the orders somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. So you're telling me this because... The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. May I have a word? What did you need? Well, as you are Chaltros, people have asked. You grew up outside the Canary homeland, but... <sighs> there is no easy way to ask your thoughts on the queue. Have you studied the queue? It is a decided gap in my education. I know the Kuhn is a philosophy, a set of laws, a legislative guide, and a social architecture governing the Kunari. Those who appeared at court, however, insisted the Kuhn is too complex for an outsider. I'm a quick study. I could learn the Kuhn if I put my mind to it. Perhaps. If they let you. Do you believe in any of the Kuhn's philosophies? The Kuhn runs things differently. I've wondered what it's like to grow up with it. Please, be careful not to praise it out loud. People ask how a Kunari could be Andraste's herald. It worries them if they believe it, and angers them if they do not. Convincing them of your good intentions will be tasking. You'll think of something, Ambassador. I hope so. It will be interesting. Strangely, your mercenary work is not so inflammatory. People are fabricating extravagant tales of your heroics. There wasn't a group around that didn't want my help when a tough assignment came up. If you needed it done, Adar was at the top of the list. I noticed. Leliana found a letter from the captain of your last company. He had nothing but praise for your skill in battle, but doesn't mention what part you play. Captain Tully praised me. William Ironars Tully. That's quite the moniker. 
but yes. Your captain went so far as to say he'd have lost entire battles without you. That miser deducted five gold from my pay the day I left. Whatever for? Poor morale. Well, your captain still held your skills in high regard. Especially after your last engagement. A friend of a friend got us a barrel of Gatlock powder. Explosive stuff. The bandits we were fighting found that out when their reinforcements tried to cross the bridge. How... exciting? I hope life in Haven doesn't bore you compared to such exploits. There are some people who've made staying worthwhile. How wonderful. Oh, you must tell me who they are. Huh. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and on to the maker. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bull's Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Davinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I heard the Templars have withdrawn. Did you need something? I'll leave you to your work. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. what 